Yo, what's going on guys? It's Ollie back again with another Rocket League video. Today, this is going to be an update video. Uh, the last couple days, Rocket League, their website has put out a few articles of information. One, that is very exciting to me. And two, that will be very exciting for everybody, I think. The first one is Nintendo Switch. They're bringing on a new console to Rocket League. We've known this for a while now. But they just released an official trailer. Basically, <clears throat> if you're on the orange team, you're going to play as this Mario car or this Metroid car. That exclusive to Nintendo Switch, I'm pretty sure. I cor correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's exclusive to the Switch. I will be picking up Rocket League on the Switch. I love the Switch. I love Nintendo. I love Rocket League. And um, I think it's supposed to drop this uh holiday season so like november time i'm guessing november december something like that but it's gonna be cool to have new trails new toppers new hats new antennas wheels and battle cars <laughs> so it's super exciting for me at least uh if, i figure we can watch the trailer right now Switch, Rocket League, uh, I have no idea. The Metroid car looks sweet. Dang. <laughs> it's not a very long video, but... Gets people excited, gets me excited, I mean, that's sweet another console added to their library I mean I don't know about you but that's exciting for everyone or it should be at least but um it's basically all there is these will be free unlockable cars just like you would any other common item in Rocket League um, but the next bit of information is pointed towards everybody because everyone will like it Starbase Arc and Wasteland are going to be redesigned as standard arena. So Wasteland isn't going to be like slanted anymore. And Starbase Arc looks like, yeah, it's just a standard arena. It's not going to be that weird whatever it was, octagon. What I don't know what shape it was. Okay, sorry. But I guess basically they've been listening to people's feedback and... Um... They don't think for competitive mode that it is really viable anymore. Um, for pros, they said basically it was for pros to get different variables and different experiences playing. Um, but the original Wasteland and Starbase Arc will be for casual play and offline play. Um, I think they're renaming them too to Badlands and... Arctagon, Arctagon, something like that. Um, basically, they're standardizing all of their maps for competitive mode. And I think it's going to be a lot easier to f play consistent as a skill level instead of having to adjust to a new. Because there's whole. It's a whole different game when. You're going from like a standard arena to some weird one with different angles you're not used to and it kind of messes you up but i think this is great i think this is good for them i think it's good for the community um they're still working on rocket lab designs so they're still coming up with other stuff but basically this is gonna drop in when season six starts which they said was gonna be beginning of fall so i'm assuming september or october um but i couldn't tell you for sure they can't tell us for sure yet 
but it will be a fall release for season six competitive and along with the new starbase arc and wasteland and uh that's all i wanted to share with you guys i thought it was uh worth mentioning because i hate both of them you know i hate wasteland more than i hate starbase which is different for most people but that, that's just how i am i just i can't i can't do it i hate the angles on it i hate like going downfield flipping to get speed and i just float there can't stand it but anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe if this is your first time here i do update videos all the time i'm trying to bring you the latest news as quickly as possible um also we're just on the grind so hit that ding dong dinger also known as the uh notification bell I call it the ding dong dinger. Just hit that. Make sure you're notified when my new videos come out. When I'm streaming, um, I stream fairly moderately, I guess. I would say like one stream to every one or two videos, basically. That's how I do it. But it's all. I don't really have a schedule yet because I just don't. Uh, I don't really see a need to right now. But, in the future, who knows? Anyway, guys, I hope you like this video. Um, if you have any other insight, any other updates that I don't know about, um, let me know in the comments. And uh, hope to see you around. Bye, guys.